Right, well, I've done a, a few uh, um, videos now on some of these cameras. These are my SJ cams, or SJ cams and some fake SJ cams. But now we'll start getting, I think, into some of the other action cameras. Um, so here, here's the first one. This is an Olympus camera. It's the Olympus uh, Tough. They make, a, a, well, I, I know of two cameras similar to this, but this is the tough little action camera. Now this, I believe, is a really nice little camera. It feels brilliant. I mean, it's solid, tough as anything. It seems to be, I guess it's plastic really, but it feels like it's metal and it feels really solid. And there again, I'm not going to um, do a review of the camera as such because there's plenty of reviews of these cameras out there on YouTube. I'm just really talking about each camera that I own and put it on a car and see what it looks like. So this one comes with a nice little handle and, it, and I've got other attachments which I can fix it and clamp it to various things. And the camera itself, I mean, it's really good. It's got a, a screen. Uh, which opens out so you can you can see what's on it as you're looking at the camera from behind. Um, it's waterproof as it is, so you can put this underwater as it is. Um, it's got a light on it. Let's have a look. Where are we? Yes. Hold this button down and the light comes on. It's quite useful, I guess. Though I've never really used it myself. It's got a, a little mirror effect here that is supposed to be something you can see yourself in if you're going to do selfies but there again I've not used that what I actually use this camera for um, it, this camera actually has got GPS and all sorts of um, uh, sensors in it that um, will tell you where you've been and the, and the the height and everything but you have to have the software to access that I haven't bothered with any of that I think it's a good little camera hard wearing robust and waterproof as it is and it's not flat square it's put it on a car and it's thin it's slim so what I use this for mainly is I've set it up for time-lapse and I just push the lever here forward and the camera is immediately on and then push the big red button as I've got it set for time-lapse it's now taking time-lapse pictures and every time that light comes on another picture is taken. I think I've got it set for a photo every second. Right, just turn it off and then you just turn the camera off. Now, the reason I've done that is because um, I can put this on a car or outside or anywhere and leave it to take a time-lapse. Um, and if it rains or, or the weather uh, turns bad, it's not going to affect the camera, apart from obviously water on the lens, but uh, it doesn't matter. I don't have to worry about this camera. Another a little thing about this camera is that you can have an external power source powering it while it's filming. So open it up, and inside here we've got the battery. But what I've got is a little Velcro strip here, which I attach a... Um, power pack to and I plug it in so I can leave the camera um, uh, with the power pack powering it and just leave it for hours on end and it'll do some really good time lapse so I think what I will do is I'll try putting this on the car and do it in time lapse and we'll go for a time lapse drive uh, with my Olympus Tough here we've got my 1993 Mercedes 4 and uh, oh, it's in green as well. My Olympus Tough with its magnetic clamp. Oops, there we go. That's tough. And we'll uh, put this on the car, I think. I think the best place for this one really is just in the middle there. That way we can get the mascot in. 
Now I've got this set for time lapse. I've not actually done a um, a uh, video time lapse on a car before, so this will be a bit of an experiment. So I've got it set for one every second, and that'd be that'd be quite interesting, really. Sure, it looks quite good there in green. But, uh, we'll give that a whirl, see what it's like. Time lapse with the tough Olympus tough on the Mercedes format.